So it's me, your little boy. Okay, I'm so I have something special for us today. You know, <laughs> you know, working against you is the worst mistake that a lot of people have made. You know what I'm saying? Working perfectly what against you is the worst mistake that a lot of people out there have do what I have made. Is the worst mistake. <laughs> it's unbelievable to people. It's unbelievable to them. They never believe. Let me tell you, you have no idea the kind of regrets that they are now, the kind of re regrets they are what they are facing right now. A lot of people are regretting because <laughs> try to do or to fight you is the worst mistake that they have committed. Try to do what come against you, try to rise up against you, try to frustrate you. Is absolutely the worst mistake that majority of people out there have absolutely made. What they never expect, what they never believe, what they never think of. Listen, the earth is fighting them. Believe me, you have you have no idea the kind of battle many people are facing behind the scene. Let me tell you, you have no idea the kind of challenges that they are facing, which they were expecting you to face. Let me tell you, choosing rules. Oh, everywhere is automatically red. You have no idea. <laughs> the reason why a lot of people are restless, speechless, believe me, wonder with that number is what God has done. God has automatically ruled their expectation back to them. God have automatically made them to eat from the evil that they expected you to eat from. Yes, their intention was never to see you as say. Their intention was never to see you, you know, succeed. Their expectation, everything that they were hoping is something more tough something bad to do or to happen or occur around you but believe me god automatically would disappoint them god automatically disappoint their devices you know what they never expect what they never hope for that is exactly what god is what is giving them the things that they never expect from you their hope is lost. Their hope is exactly what lost. Majority of people out there have finally come to realize that they made the worst mistake of trying to frustrate you. Majority of people out there have fully come to realize that they commit the worst error of ganging up against you because all that they have used to gang up against you have ganged up against them. Listen, when Saul was trying to destroy David, every word set up that Saul did backfire. When Haman was expecting to kill Esther, the same thing he was expecting fall upon him. So, this is what is going on. They are secretly what regretting why they know you. They are secretly regretting why they made up their mind to frustrate you. They are secretly what regretting why they decide to frustrate you because a hood frustration is exactly what they are going through. A hood frustration is exactly what they are passing through. So you have no idea what a lot of people out there are secretly going through. Believe me, you may not believe. Forget about the fact that they are smiling publicly, but they hate themselves. They hate themselves to the fullest. They hate themselves so much. Believe me, they truly do hate themselves. Because if, 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 the, every time they remember their expectation towards you, they feel ashamed of themselves. Any time they remember what they were hoping that would occur around you, they feel embarrassed. Any time they remember 
the way they, they were, you know, thinking that you are going to fall down, you are going to give up. They feel so devastated because everything is automatically turning what against them. They are fully come to realize that what God cannot do does not do what exists. So it really hurt a lot of people because it backfire. That's why the Bible say he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands will not carry, would carry out their enterprise. That's why the Bible says he will contend with those that contend with us and he will save our, our his own children. That's why the Bible say right from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffered violent and only the violent men take it by force. That is the same reason why the Bible say, Upon Mount Zion they shall be delivered for the house of Jacob we do it. We possess their possession. That is why the Bible says in the book of Exodus 14, 14, He will fight for you and you will hold your peace. That is why the Bible said in the book of Psalm that it, once have you spoken, but twice have you held him, that all power belongs to the Lord. So a lot of people have finally realized that you own you not, that God owned you, that everything you are today, everything you have today, everything about you today is not you versus you only. It is you versus God. You know, they are fully come to realize that you we made room for two, but it's only for us and God. <laughs> they try to block the way, but they have finally come to realize that the room that they enter is the wrong place because it's not only we. It's not we versus our mom. It's not we versus our brothers, no friends, relatives, cousins, nephews. They see, but they have fully come to realize that the room where we are, the room that we are occupying, it is we only versus God. And that is why they feel ashamed of their self. That is why they feel frustrated because everything that they plotted to use against you, God revised it against them. God turned it back. That is why after everything, according to the book of Exodus, when you start from verse 14 down, the Bible says after everything that they have did and done, the Bible says at the end, the same magician who were trying to compete with Moses and complying, saying, this is the finger of God. <laughs> so remember, bless you, God bless you. If you are new, don't forget to do it to subscribe. And don't also forget, my birthday is coming. That will be next two months. You know, we are going to celebrate it with hugely. So remember, bless you, and may God bless you. And don't do it, don't forget to subscribe to your little boy. Remain blessed and be blessed.